this is Math Studies Lesson 2.5. So um, this lesson can be fun to some people, can be uh, not so fun to other people. What I basically want you to do is read each scenario, then write an if-then statement that explains it. I don't have any true examples, but I'll do uh, maybe number three, just to give you an idea of what I'm looking for. So, number three says, after being in a coma for two weeks, Granny Smith died on May 22nd, 1991. Candy Care was trying to comfort Granny's grandson, Smitty. Listen, Smitty, said Candy, this couldn't have come as a great shock. No, it wasn't, said Smitty. The big shock is Granny's will. My cousin, Sid Shady, says that according to her latest will, he's going to inherit the entire estate. Granny made a will four years ago and showed it to me. At that time, it said that upon her death, I was to inherit 90% of her estate, and my cousin Shady was going to get the rest. Candy examined a photocopy of the new will Shady produced. It was dated May 10, 1991, and stated that Shady was to inherit the entire estate. It was signed by Granny Smith and two witnesses. This is fake, declared Candy. Why? First give an explanation, then translate the explanation into if-then statements. So, they're all kind of puzzles, kind of riddles, which is why some people are great at these and some people could, could take them or leave them. So, um, when I'm looking at this, what strikes me is the dates. So, if she died on May 22nd and the will was signed on May 10th, it seems like that should be okay. But, the part at the beginning says that she was in a coma for two weeks. So, if she was in a coma for two weeks and we go back 14 days, because two weeks is 14 days. Doo, 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 doo. She was on, in a coma on the 8th of May. So there's no way she could have signed something on the 10th if she was in a coma on the 8th. So if Granny was in a coma, on May 8th, then she did not sign the will on May 10th. So we're basically just reading the situation and answering it using an if-then statement. Uh, good luck with the exercises. Do the best you can. If there are certain situations that you cannot come up with a response to, just try to write an if-then statement that is related to the situation. Uh, let me know if you have any questions.